this a clean floor? Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? Don't make excuses. You're clearly defective, and I intend to report this. Perhaps after you've been disassembled, we can use your components to make something that's actually useful. All systems, nominal. Synths aren't human beings, but supposedly they're the future of humanity. I'll never understand it. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. As far as I'm concerned, the phase-out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. Our technology must seem pretty advanced by your standards. Doc. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. Who built this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Greetings. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? What can I requisition? I have access to a modest selection of arms, armor, and other items approved for use in field missions. Let's see what you got.
father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. going to tell me about this mysterious phase three you know I can't talk about that you're here glad you made it we're all looking forward to working with you I hear we're about to get a new food supplement is it true food supplement 77 has been discontinued that is correct that was my favorite one can't we keep it a little longer? I will be happy to forward your request to the Bioscience Division. In the meantime, please feel free to enjoy one of our other nutritious and flavorful food supplements. I want Supplement 77. I am sorry, sir, but that supplement is no longer available. Useless machine. So you were there the day the bombs fell. That must have been terrifying. The commissary is always open. Would you like some processed sustenance packets? me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. Wow, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? As in THE railroad? And they gave me a code name too? I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You saved a lot of synths. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea, to rescue a lot of synths, at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right, let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface, but that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. I'm not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to help, you know? C-114, it's me. Sir, do you require something? It's okay, C-1, he's a friend. He's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I... I thought only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z1. He's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now. How many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. That'll take forever. 
Let's free those 13 all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Liam. Just a few high security doors, right? Controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah. A head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. What do you need help with? Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, uh, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Where would I find that? Unfortunately, I don't know. The obvious place won't work. The CIT ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. Not yet. I've been reviewing Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going, so I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I... I try not to think too much about it. We have more than enough to occupy ourselves here. Those people are the last remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. They're still people, and they're suffering. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? Well, that's a question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well... I suppose you're right. Doctor. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. 
He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. Hey, Doc. Yes, yes, I'm sure that whatever you have to say is very interesting, but now simply isn't a good time. Working on something important? Uh, all of my work is important. Now, if you're quite finished, I'd very much like to get back to these mental equations. They're difficult enough without the distractions. Equations for what? Uh, honestly, you wouldn't understand them. Now, I'm afraid I must end this little chat, although it's been so very diverting. Good to see you. Dr. Holdren's Synth Gorilla Project is showing promising results. Please don't get any germs on me. I would be happy to assist you. Hey, Z1. I would be happy to assist you. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. <clears throat> huh? Hey there. Child Safety synth first. prototype may truly Remember be that. the key to our future. Hi, Doc. Since you're new here, well, you should take that time to learn our safety procedures. And the sooner the better. Rules create order. And order promotes efficiency. Words any former soldier can appreciate. A man who understands the need for discipline will be a valuable addition here. I had some handbooks made up, but that was years ago. I'll see about getting one to you. Uh, how big is this handbook? Just a few thousand pages, but I like to think it's a brisk read. I certainly find it so. Take care, then. Yeah. yeah. Doctor. Hmm? Oh, hi there. Sorry if I seem distracted. I memorized five sets of design schematics, and now I'm doing detailed mental comparisons. That's amazing. Oh, well, a lot of us do that. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. I just wanted to say how much I admire Father, and that it's an honor to meet you. I really hope you'll stay here with us. It's really exciting having you here. I can't wait to see what you can do. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. 
Yes, yes, I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What is it you're working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. Oh, before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. Uh... I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Yes? Greetings, sir. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial, then. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. You can return to your duties, and remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful test subject for you, Doctor. Mm-hmm. I have to admit, the third-generation sense are really something. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. Sir, authorized personnel only. So Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, does he? Well, you can tell him that I intend to speak to Father about these unannounced security sweeps of yours. Ransacking my quarters in the middle of the night is totally unacceptable. I'll pass along your message, Doctor. See that you do. Excuse me, Doctor. Welcome, welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you'll come to think of the Institute as your home. What do you do here? Oh, I'm in charge of housing and provisions. It's my mission to ensure that everyone lives a comfortable and productive life. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together what now they're dragging their feet on the targeting package upgrades i asked for maybe i should take some I courses here we're about to get a new food supplement mm. please don't there's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments you're going soft on me alana my methods get results and they will this time as well you'll see I swear I spend half my time smoothing the feathers that Justin ruffles. We need to be able to collaborate with the other divisions, and that's a lot harder when they're always angry at us. 
What's Justin doing that's causing friction? Oh, he's just pushy and demanding. He thinks his problem should be everyone's biggest concern. I have to admit, though, the other divisions have never taken our needs as seriously as they should. I guess they see us as a necessary evil or something. It's really not fair. Oh, just listen to me. It's the first chance we've had to get acquainted, and all I want to do is complain. In any case, it was good to meet you. Three levels of approval. Do you believe that? Three! Constant vigilance is vital in preventing synth escapes. Hi, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal. I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser. A third-generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'd like to know more about the synth reclamation process. Fine. Once a courser has located a rogue synth, it uses that synth's recall code to wipe its memories and render it inert. We then begin the delicate process of restoring the neural pathways to their original configuration. In those cases where the procedure is successful, the synth returns to duty with no memory of its time on the surface. All too often, we're unable to repair the damage and are forced to dispose of the unit entirely. Report anything suspicious to the SRB. Excuse me. If you see any suspicious synth activity, report it immediately. Subject identified.
Sir, we've had another situation. A code red. What? This is the third time in two weeks. This is unacceptable. How can this happen? We think there was a system glitch. We're looking into it. Damn it, you're all useless. I'll figure out what happened. But in the meantime, tell the others to be on high alert. I want more patrols and more rounds. Right away, sir. If you see anything even remotely suspicious, record it immediately. This absolutely cannot happen again. Got it? Yes, sir. Understood. Hey, Doc. You know what happens when people get robots to do all their work? They get fat and lazy, that's what. Real people doing real thinking and real work. That's the future I want. No argument here. Nice to meet someone who isn't obsessed with replacing people with machines. I've been saying for years that we're too reliant on these synths. But nobody wants to listen. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't recharge unless your primary levels are below 2%. Also, if you haven't patched your navigation software, do so after this meeting. The last thing we need is more synths bumping into walls. All right, that's all for now. You can resume your duties. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. If you require Doc, maintenance, a real please file a report with the facilities the division. down here operating in the green. This place might look shiny and new. There's a lot of old technology in these walls. I lose sleep worrying about when the next blackout's gonna hit. How old are we talking about? Well, the reactor and a lot of the related systems, you know, cooling, monitoring, power distribution, that's all pre-war tech. Most of the superstructure down here was built later when the people who survived the war I guess each generation's been tinkering with the place, adding labs, making upgrades, and so on. Now, there's some stuff I need to check on. See you around, yeah? Now that you've had a chance to see the Institute firsthand, what do you think? You've got technology here that I never dreamed possible. It's amazing. I'm glad you can appreciate what we've accomplished. None of it has been easy. Ultimately, all our knowledge and resources are focused on a single goal. The goal is best summarized by our motto. Mankind. Redefined. Unfortunately, no advancement comes without occasional setbacks. As remarkable as our synths are, they can be... dangerous without proper supervision. The superior synth mind and body attempting to wrestle with something approaching free will can be a recipe for chaos. If the synths are intelligent and self-aware, then they have a right to free will. However closely they may approximate human behavior, they are still... our creations. When you see what I have to show you, I think you'll agree that we know what is best for our synths. A rogue synth has taken over the Raider Gang at Libertalia. His memories have been erased, and his identity altered. He believes he's a man named Gabriel. Under his leadership, the Raiders have taken many innocent lives. I've dispatched a courser to Libertalia. 
I'd like you to join him and reclaim that synth. Who erased his memories? And why? Those idealistic radicals who call themselves the Railroad are behind it. We'll deal with them in time. But right now, the priority is to reclaim that synth before more harm is done. Now you should get moving. Many people are in danger, and a delay could cost lives. The professor. The professor's back. There's more going on than you know. Trust me. You need to hit the dead drops. Randolph's got a message for you. Oh, thank you. To the molecular stabilization matrix held. Funny, you didn't sound certain yesterday. It is really, really good to see you. Did it work? Did you make it inside the Institute? I met with the leader of the Institute. And it turns out, he's my son. What? Wasn't he just a little boy? After they took him from me, they froze me in cryo. Instead of being on ice for a few years, it's a few decades instead. The Institute's really done a number on you. Besides meeting your boy, did you meet Patriot too? Did Tom's holotape work? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Desdemona. God damn it! Losing Augusta is a real blow. Not your fault, I know. Everyone's all, you have been hitting the cams way too hard. But I got my eyes open. I see. Hey. The latest atmospheric reading from the new Mila is still inconclusive. But we'll catch the Institute. I know another building that could use a Mila. If you need something for the road, the shop's open. Desdemona. Good work on Augusta. I'd rather know the hard truth than live in ignorance. What are all the sense got? You're the real deal. You actually made it inside the Institute. Systems locked. Building statistical model for Operation Tea Party. Pam. Preliminary analysis. Complete. Anything we need to move on. Affirmative. Code name Patriot requires admin credentials for Code Defender Security Software. Cross indexing CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census records. Filtering by surviving structures. One match found. Bergman. Wilfred. Bergman. Wilfred. Registered as co-owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Estimated 81% chance of login credentials being located at this facility. What's at Cambridge Polymer? Cambridge Polymer Labs, LLC, had several active military contracts specializing in robotics, 
The region is currently classified as extremely dangerous. After you get the password report back here, with any luck, we'll have a game plan by then. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Someone there! <laughs> Go ahead and hide, little bleeder! Gonna splatter your brain! <laughs> Disappear! No fair!
I can carry something if you need me to. 